Hello, I'm Michelle Clary. I'm excited to introduce to you my community, USD 204 Bonner Springs Edwardsville. The community of Bonner Springs Edwardsville are small suburban cities that nestle among the rolling hills and trees along the Kansas River. Located on the western edge of the Kansas City metropolitan area, Bonner Springs Edwardsville School District covers 42 square miles and it's easy to find on I-70. It provides great access to local metro-wide attractions such as the Providence Medical Center Amphitheater, Kansas City Renaissance Festival, the National Agricultural Center and Hall of Fame, the Wyandotte County Museum, and the Moon Marble Company where you can watch marbles being made. And coming soon to Edwardsville will be the Hard Rock Cafe Resort Hotel Casino. It's under construction. The Kansas Indians settled in the area because of the abundance of fish and mineral springs. Bonner Springs is the first settlement in the new state of Kansas. Because of the location of the Kansas River, it allowed easy access to trade items and welcome people from many different backgrounds to form the Tiblo community. USD 204 Bonner Springs Edwardsville is home of the Braves. Once a Brave, always a Brave. USD 204 residents live in three different cities, Bonner Springs, Edwardsville, and Kansas City, Kansas. Our schools consist of Bonner Springs High School, Clark Middle School, Bonner Springs Elementary, Delaware Ridge Elementary, Edwardsville Elementary, and McDaniel Preschool and Head Start. The names of these schools are all related in meaning to the history of the community. There are many traditional events that occur annually within the community and all of the schools pre-K through high school have clubs have supporting roles in the events to make them successful. The events are, are but not limited to, Tiblo Days, Moon Marble Days, the Bonner Springs High School Homecoming, Polar Bear Plunge for Special Olympics, the Renaissance Festival, Job Olympics, and Band and Choir Concert. The city's councils of Bonner Springs and Edwardsville collaborate on many social opportunities for the community, such as the Parks and Recreation sports teams. In addition, to the unincorporated areas of Western Wyandotte and Leavenworth County, the district serves two primary cities of Bonner Springs and Edwardsville. The estimated population of Bonner Springs was 7,665 and 4,390 people living in Edwardsville. In USD 204, there are 2,736 students enrolled. Bonner Springs High School jumps between 4A and 5A classification. The student population is diverse. The top categories are 78% of the population is white, 10% of the population is black, 7% of the population is Hispanic, and 3.5% is mixed. 17% of the students qualify for gifted and or special education services. 49% of the students qualify for free or reduced lunch. English and Spanish are our primary spoken languages. Communication from the school and district will come in forms of emails, text alerts, Skylert, our parent communication portal, and phone calls. Parents will have to make sure their information is correct in Skyward. Parents have the choice of selecting their home language to receive communication in. For face-to-face -face events such as parent-teacher conferences or IEP meetings, interpreters are provided by the school. The Brave Bulletin is a weekly e-newsletter sent each Friday during the year. Parents can also gather information using the district website, Skyward, or various, or following various buildings, principals, sports, or the Educational Foundation on Facebook, Twitter, or Instagram. Our community has access to local radio and TV stations such as Channel 4, Channel 5, Channel 9, and Channel 41. A newer feature form of communication that is becoming more popular is the Braves Broadcast Live. Our high school and middle school production classes are able to support live streaming, school sports, and activities. There are several community groups that are active participants in USD 204. 
the Bonner Springs Edwardsville Rotary Club, the Bonner Springs Edwardsville Education Foundation, the NCAAP, the Art Alliance, multiple churches in various faiths, Feed His Lambs, and the Von Trent Community Services Incorporated. The Bonner Springs Edwardsville Foundation provides quarterly and yearly grants to teachers and staff who need extra assistance with initiatives in their classrooms. Another resource that we have in our community is Sunflower House. Sunflower House provides district staff professional development training on being proactive educational programs throughout the community and effort to stop the cycles of abuse. They are able to explain the child protection and legal systems and assist with scheduling a child's need for specialized medical evaluations. The district was formed in 1965 as part of the Kansas Unification Program. The district is governed by a seven member board of education with members being elected to four-year terms. Each July at the beginning of the year, the district's fiscal year, the board elects a president and vice president and appoints a treasurer and a clerk. The president and the vice president must be members of the board, but the treasurer and clerk not need be members. The board members must serve without compensation. The board appoints the superintendent of schools who's responsible for carrying out the policies set by the board. The district employs approximately 202 teachers, eight district administrators, 11 school administrators, 189 classified personnel. Leadership in USD 204 has no limits or levels. Everyone is a leader. Community leaders can be seen but not always heard. They have the ability to organize and put together a group of people that to complete a task. School administrators are often seen as community leaders. The principal of the high school is basically the second mayor of the city because of all the moving parts that they are responsible for a daily and weekly operation of the schools. Principals must have energy and be compassionate about all the different needs of their staff, students, and families. Administrators can't do it alone. They need support from counselors and community resources such as PACES, which is Wyandotte County's Mental Health Services. USD 204 has had the opportunity to have PACES case managers work within our schools with our school counselors, special education, social workers, students, and families that are clients of PACES. This has helped with PACE's relationship building process within our communities and school. We've learned a lot from each other during the first year. The total population based on the U.S. Census in 2016 for USD 204 is 14,403. About 4.9% of the residents are unemployed. 30% of the parents have more than one occupation. The district benefits from its local near its location near several major interstate highways and its close proximity to Kansas City. The cities of Bonner Springs and Edwardsville are considered part of the Kansas City metropolitan area. The economy of the district is based on commercial, industrial, and agricultural related products, including the production of concrete and cement, sports apparel, pork products, and steel fabrication. No single employer dominates the district's workforce. The cities of Bonner Springs and Edwardsville actively pursue and encourage industrial development through their own efforts and efforts of organizations such as Bonner Springs Industrial Development Corporation the Bonner Springs Edwardsville Chamber of Commerce, and the Wyandotte County Economic Development Council. Both Bonner Springs and Edwardsville have extensive industrial parks that offer a full range of utilities to highway and rail access for industrial companies. Major employers, according to the Edwardsville and Bonner Springs City Clerk's offices, are among the largest employers located in and around the district. FedEx Freight, Freight Hauler, ERP Distribution Supplier to McDonald's and Chipotle, CSM Bakery Products, Bakery Mix Products, Federal Express Overnight Shipping Source. 
Transportation. The Tiblo Trot is a local van that provides public transportation within Bonner Springs and Edwardsville. The KC Ride Bus has a line that extends to our borders into Kansas City, Kansas to the casino, but does not cross into the cities of Bonner Springs and Edwardsville. I think visuals and communication to voters and patrons of the school district will help explain where their tax money goes. Communication is key of telling people exactly where their money is being spent. In 2018, USD 204 was lobbying citizens to pass a bond on the ballot to, ser to serve for several construction projects around the district. They used the following image to explain to a parent where their tax dollars go to. For one cent of their dollar, it goes to the state of Kansas. 24 cents of their dollar goes to the Unified Government of Wyandotte County. 21 cents of their dollar goes to the city of Bonner Springs. 17 cents of their dollar goes to Kansas City, Kansas Community College. And 38 cents of their dollar goes to USD 204. Social tensions within schools are mainly centered around cyberbullying on social media that is done after school hours. The district is addressing dig digital citizenship in all levels of schools. I couldn't find any data on gang activity in USD 204. I'm sure we have some students that are in gangs, but to my knowledge, the negative gang activity has not been brought into the schools. I also could not find data on any interracial confrontations within our school. Within our middle school and high school sports teams, when we play schools who are not familiar with our student diversity, the students have experienced verbal confrontation abuse because of their skin color or because we have females that play on the football team or because we have males on the flag team. As a mom and a sports fan, when we are at away games, I pay very close attention to our students' whereabouts and activities when they leave the student fan section, just to be sure everything is positive. Discrimination is in the form of the haves and have-nots in USD 204. It could be anything from who brought a home lunch versus who's eaten a school lunch. The academic competition among students can cause to misunderstandings or tension between them when they're competing for scholarships or the race for valedictorian. Yeah, the schools have cliques. Cliques are based on student interest. The students who compete in rodeo tend to hang out with the other kids that compete in rodeo. Students who are active in sports tend to hang out with each other. Being a 4A, 5A size school, it gives students opportunities to be involved in multiple activities, such as cheerleading, marching band, and debate, instead of in specializing in a single activity like students do have to do in larger size schools. Sources of information that you can use to acquire information about USD 204 are located in multiple spots. You could look at their district website, Skyward, the City of Edwardsville website or the City of Multicultural issues are addressed by educating students of various cultures within our community and around the world. Building principles provide multiple platforms that are age appropriate to expand upon the students' awareness of personal and cultural contexts that shape their personal experience. It also provides a learning lab for inner Reducing different family structures and traditions. In Bonner Springs School District, the district has partnerships with community and families and student opportunity, students have opportunities to participate in personal development and cultural contexts. The, the power structure the district has a has a code of conduct and procedures for family that assess with process and procedures of school activities, discipline, and transportation. All of these are available on the district website. Public opinion matters, especially in making decisions, especially when you're deciding whether to reopen after COVID-19. Parents are exposed to at least two different school Surveys a year in multiple different forms, either face to face by uh, phone calls using SurveyMonkey or Doodle or a poll. 
they can give a variety of a variety of feedback on different topics. Thank you for taking the time to understand.